Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another speed build. Today we're building in Evergreen Harbour again, but this time on a 20 by 15 lot. It has one bedroom, one bathroom, a workspace, and comes to 55,703 simoleons. So I was inspired by a picture I saw on Pinterest, and I will put it up on the screen so you can take a look. I honestly thought it was gonna take me like what, five hours to complete this build because there are a total of three levels um, with a rooftop but surprisingly I think I took ab about around three hours um, I don't have a personality for the sim who lives uh, here as of now but the build does have a lot of plants which you can see momentarily so I imagine it could be part of their it could be the sim's hobby or it could be because the sim works as a gardener or works at a plant shop and then you know because of employee perks the sim gets a couple pots of plants and then it just accumulates and accumulates but yeah i mean it's free for you to explore and i mean you can always download and um yeah just just um customize however you want if you like this build you can download it from the sim tour gallery under my origin id shansons yt or you can also find it under the hashtag shansons yt and if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe and turn on the notifications button so you get notified each time I post a new video. And yeah, um, I do imagine that this sim lives alone though. Um, the first story of this build is the kitchen space and the dining area. Um, the second level is the bedroom and the bathroom. The funny thing is I totally forgot that I need to, to include a bathroom so you'll see me panic later on in this in the speed build. Um, the third level is the workspace. Oh, I forgot to mention there's a there's like a balcony. There's a small balcony at the back, um, on level two, and then level three is the workspace. Uh, and it has another balcony where you can see that I place a lot of plants there as well. And then there's a sitting area, and then we move on to the rooftop where there's a barbecue pit. There's a, there's another sitting area, and yeah, there's a sitting area and then like a space for you to sit down um, and eat your barbecued food. So yeah, this is a really huge build for just one sim but you know what, maybe this sim really saved up a lot of money to be able to afford a place like this or yeah so and I, I really like how this whole build turned out. I went for a very colourful theme so you can see that I used a lot of colours um, the exterior of the build is also, it, it's mainly like a container home. Yeah, so um, you can see from the title, this is, this is a colourful container home. So I didn't really want to go for any, um, you know, like one colour scheme sort of thing. So, and then because there are three levels, there's so many levels actually, I just decided, you know what, maybe I'll just try something new. I'll go with a colourful um, scheme. But I do have to admit like, um, initially when I was decorating the first level, it was kind of hard because doing something like a colourful theme is not my forte. I usually um, go towards, I, I, I tend to gravitate towards, you know, those like monochromatic or like um, jungle themed or um, just very minimal kind of style. So this was initially pretty hard for me but after that, I think I sort of got the hang of it. So I used the kitchen countertops from Dream Home Decorator and the fridge is from Jungle Adventure. I love the um this color swatch of the of the fridge. It's just really I don't know, it just looks really nice. And yeah, so um the first level I initially wanted a sitting area. You can see later on I, I placed the chair here. Um, but afterwards, when I was playtesting it, I realized my sim couldn't get up to the second floor and just couldn't access like certain parts of this level. So I just decided that I would um, scrap that idea. I mean, since there are many other, there's so many areas, there's so many sitting areas in this whole build actually. So you don't have to worry that your sim doesn't really have anywhere to sit. So yeah, I mean, so the first level is mainly just the dining area where I use the the high chairs and high tables that came with the tiny living is it the stuff pack tiny living pack yeah okay i'll just call it a tiny living pack but yeah i think this is my first time using it i always i i think i i've never used it in any of my other boots and this is the first time i'm using it which is a surprise because 
I I don't know. I think the fact that it's not like accessible to the the options where you find your items according to the kitchen and whatnot. The fact that it's not like found there, it, I think is also the reason why I didn't use it in all my other builds. But yeah, I'm so glad I used it here. I think it really like I think it really looks cute. Um, with the yellow chairs and then the, the plate of fruits on the table as well. Um, and then the backsplash for the kitchen, I used the one that came with Parenthood and I like that this whole level has this sort of um, pest y vibe going on. So there's the purple and then there's the mint and then there's the yellow and then over here I think I also used some of the picture frames that came with I have I can't remember what the picture the picture frame. Okay, I think the picture friends came with um the Dream Home Decorator pack. So they all look very pastel-ish and yeah, I think it really ties up really well. So I wanted to make this this area here like sort of a like, I wanted to make a <laughs> a collage of pictures, but then I think it would be too much. So I just decided to go with four and then I just scaled it down so that they would look uh, so that they will fit nicely on this wall and then I placed this mirror here which I thought it looks really cute and then I just cluttered up the um, entryway table and then placed plant so you can see over here I think I, I placed the chair afterwards and I'm so sad because I couldn't use it I had to remove it because my sim couldn't climb up the staircase the ladder I mean my sim couldn't climb up the ladder and unfortunately this isn't the final final um look of how the first level would be because I eventually moved the ladder um yeah I think I did move the ladder because my sim couldn't go up so yeah um a lot of play testing required for this build because of the the way I play stuff so yeah um I really like the picture that I used as well it, it sort of just kind of adds something to the side of the wall yeah and yeah, so right now just putting up some curtains and these curtains come from the paranormal stuff pack which I love. I think I'll I'll probably like you know build something with just paranormal stuff pack soon. I'm pretty excited about it. And now we're moving on to the second level, which is the bedroom. So as I mentioned earlier, I do imagine that this um, this whole build only has one sim living in it, but of course you can always have as many as you want. I mean, you can always um, customize the build to your liking. So if you want more sims to live here, of course you can, you know, turn the third level into like another bedroom. Or you can always replace, um, you can always um, put the, what's that called, the foldable? The fo oh, the Murphy bed that came with... Um, tiny tiny living you can always put a Murphy bit in the uh, workspace up there so you can have more sims living in this whole build so yeah so for the um for the bedroom i just thought that you know um I'm, i wanted to go with like the whole purple um pastel -y theme going on from downstairs but then i think i decided to go with something else instead yeah so i went with blue um I think I placed a lot of plants here as well. I just thought like it would be nice to have plants. <laughs> and yeah, and over here, you know, I was happily decorating everything and then I I didn't I totally forgot that I needed to add a bathroom. I was thinking like, oh my god, how am I gonna extend? Like where am I gonna put a bathroom? So eventually I just put it at the side. Yeah, I just put it at the side. And yeah, I also use this um light fixtures that I believe came from the Blooming Rooms kit. I think it just looks very nice here and the fact that I mean this whole this whole build has many plants I just thought it will tie in nicely. So yeah, probably this is something that um the sim bought from the I mean a plant shop or somewhere that specializes in light fixtures like this. So yeah, and then um I also gave them like the drawers from um, tiny living I think the colors suit this whole um, color scheme really well and then I also use the um, the what's that called the mirror from jungle adventure and over here I did want to use this TV console that came with tiny living but then I was I just it felt like the space was a bit too empty I just needed something else there like I didn't want it to be just backed up against that flat wall so I think 
um I wanted to to do like a like I wanted to put it at an angle but then it didn't look nice so it looked very cluttered and then like I was afraid that my sim couldn't get up the ladder so I just decided to scrap that so I just used the um the side table that came with laundry day so I put a small tv on top and then I also put like a um the what's that called the luggage thing from city living and then I just placed um, the gaming console and things like that on top of that I just thought you know maybe the sim likes to play games like how I like to play in the sims or how I like to build <laughs> in the sims oh yes I forgot to mention I do imagine that this sim has a cat and I did remember to put in like the letter box which will be outside um, uh, on the balcony on the second level yeah and yeah. Oh wait, is it here that I forgot that I forgot? Oh yes, yeah, so you can see over here. I forgot to put in the <laughs> bathroom. So this is where the bathroom will be. So I just kind of extended a bit for this level. Yeah, I just extended like another four square, four tiles, uh, two by two tiles, so that I could uh, fit in a bathroom here. So luckily this, this build was an easy fix, otherwise it would be such a such a nightmare for me and anyways bathrooms are not my favorite things to decorate to be honest so um this is a pretty simple bathroom you have a shower a standing shower and then the sink a mirror and then you know um the toilet itself yeah everything is pretty standard here pretty much yeah oh i also i also placed in the um towels from laundry day and i really love using those towels from laundry day I, I just think it looks so cute and then um in the bathroom i also tried to make it a bit more colorful so you can see the touch of yellow the blue and then the purple and then the pink yeah i really love all of it that's going on there and then yeah i also placed the laundry basket um the what do you call that the rope the shower rope yeah bathing rope bathrobe bathrobe yes the bathrobe there and then just just doing some adjustments and then we'll be going out into the balcony which is a pretty small balcony i also placed in um several planters here which i thought looks really nice <laughs> because i didn't want this balcony to look really plain so i just thought you know what maybe i'll just put planters and then a seating area so i just imagine like you know your sim when your sim wakes up in the morning um, they can probably have their coffee here or you know just look out and you know do your morning med meditation or if you can't sleep at night you can come out here enjoy the breeze you know just do a little bit of um reflecting yeah i think this is a really cute and nice spot to do so <laughs> yeah so anyways how's everybody doing so far i'm currently recording this at 10 41 p.m today is friday 11 of march and tomorrow's my birthday yeah um i'm turning 25 tomorrow um call a life crisis guys um i i think i'm quite excited i mean e even though there's like i'm not really doing anything much tomorrow other than having lunch um at burgers and lobsters which I'm pretty excited because I've always wanted to try their their lobster rolls over there. So now's the chance and I'm really excited. So I made a reservation just in case um they don't just in case like the we they don't have enough they don't have seats for walk-ins anymore because God knows how packed it will be on a Saturday afternoon. So yeah, and that's at the airport, so it's at Joel. And yeah, just really excited overall. And then afterwards, probably just, you know, walk around, maybe grab a cup of coffee. And then I'll be celebrating with my family at night. So we'll be having dinner at home. Um, we'll, we'll be ordering from my uncle. So um, because my mom isn't fully vaccinated yet. And then we have more than five people um, like celebrating as in, in my family, we have five people, so we're inviting two more people over to celebrate. And in Singapore, we can't go out as a group that is more than five, so we do have to make do with um, just eating at home so that all seven of us can celebrate together. Oh, and 
the the funny thing okay not a funny thing but like the cool thing about um my birthday is that I share the same birthday as my sister so we are just one year apart and yeah so she's 24 this year and then I'm turning 25 it's really exciting I it's like you know you know how whenever you go for camps and then you need to say something interesting about yourself yeah I always say like oh um an interesting fact about me is that um my sister and I share the same birthday and we are not twins we just we're just one year apart yeah and then we're just like oh so cool your parents planned this I'm just like nah I don't think they could have planned this but I think I was supposed to arrive earlier than the 12th of March and my sister was supposed to come probably sometime after or on the 12th of March so yeah I guess it was all you know God's plan (laughs) but yeah I mean it's pretty nice to share the same birthday Mm. yeah I mean we I mean the fact that we share the same birthday cake doesn't really bother me that much because I'm not too much of a birthday cake person yeah I mean I would much prefer okay not much prefer I mean I, I would I appreciate if people buy um, cakes but I think I'm more of like a donuts person I think Krispy Kreme is really my jam so it would be really cool if my birthday cake this year is just Krispy Kreme donuts and then the, the candle at the top so yeah I mean what's not to like about Krispy Kreme any of you fans of Krispy Kreme because I really love it a lot <laughs> but yeah so um, turning 25 I think I'm just I just feel a bit, I don't know, just, don't you just feel a little bit of, I don't know, like worried or just, I don't know, for me, when, like knowing that I'm turning 25 in, in like just a couple of hours just makes me feel a little bit anxious because I'm turning 25 and I'm going to graduate soon, but I still don't really know what I want to do. Yeah, that's, that's the part that kind of freaks me out because all of my friends, they do have not I mean I'm not saying they they have their lives all planned out planned out but they do have an idea of what they want to do and for me it's just I've been exploring things that I want to do but I just I think I'm just that kind of person I'm I'm that kind of person who is kind of scared to you know dive into something like I just get really scared about diving into something and actually putting in like all my energy into it I, I don't know there's just something about doing that that makes me feel so scared and just worried and just yeah I just I get stressed out a lot just by thinking of that but I I have been watching a lot of videos on um, people in the UX design careers and I don't know I I think this is really the year that I should you know invest my time into something not saying that I haven't been investing my time the past few years I've been exploring and definitely I've thought of many career paths that I could have taken or can take or like would take or whatever so yeah I still think that my passion still lies somewhere in design so anything that um, is requires creativity or just anything that is creative in general so um, playing in the sims is a way for me to, you know, um, what do you call that? Um, just um, uh, put out my creativity out there. Yeah, so it's a way to, you know, just explore. Because it's, um, I don't know, building the sims is sort of like design, interior design. So this is what excites me. And I do think this is something that, design is something that I want to pursue in the future. So I think I should really invest and just, you know, focus on UX design I don't know just like saying that makes me feel so stressed as well but yeah so now that I'm turning 25 I'm putting this I'm I'm setting I'm setting this for myself that I will um, start a UX design portfolio so I'll start a UX case study um, I've been thinking if I should actually enroll in the I think it's the Google UX design course but the first the first month is free but oh wait it's I think it's the Coursera one but yeah the first month is free but subsequently it I think you need to pay like what 40 USD every month and I've I've read reviews I've watched like reviews about it and it's not something that you can finish in a month because I think there's a total of three UX case studies that you need to complete 
yeah so i'm just thinking maybe i can you know start my own without having to go the course i mean the whole point of going through the course is so that you get the cert in the end but if you are able to you know come up with a a good ux case study you can convince like people that it works or like you have I mean, you you did well by explaining how your thought process is and whatnot. Then I think it's good enough. Yeah, so long as you have something to showcase to people and people understand, I think that's good enough. And yeah, oh my god, talking about that, um, someone in my class got ninety six out of hundred for an assignment. <laughs> it's like in my four years in this school, I've never seen anyone getting ninety six out of hundred. This is like insane and yeah just it's just i have no idea how the person got 96 but oh well i mean kudos to the person mm, good job uh i hope that i i score something like this for my next assignment and the upcoming huge assignment that is 70 percent yeah but anyways um we're now just you know decorating the exterior i think we're pretty much coming to the end just doing a bit of touch-ups here and there and yeah so um, if you like this build, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!